so this is going to be a video on one of our favourite subjects, radiation. So here I've got the Fiesta Ware that, as you know, makes the Geiger counter tick off pretty fast with a lot of beta radiation. So, what the plan is going to be for this video is to basically see if I put the Fiesta Ware on one side of something and the Geiger counter on another side of something, will that object be good enough to block the beta radiation that the Fiesta Ware is giving off to give you some idea in a very pseudo-scientific sort of crap test way that I love to do on this channel would that equipment be good enough to protect you from incoming sources of beta radiation to some degree so let's find out so what I'm going to do first is take this gas mask off now I'm not going to bother testing loads of different models of my masks but just the point I want to see is you know in general would you know this equipment be good enough so here we have the Geiger counter there so let me just turn that round so the open section for the beta radiation is there so now let's put this here and as you can hear that is ticking slightly faster than normal but not too much more so you'd get a bit of beta radiation coming through the front of the mask obviously we know that gamma radiation isn't going to be stopped by equipment like this at all you need like solid bits of lead to stop gamma but yeah if you had something um, like a mask like this on you'd be cutting your dose down but you'd certainly not be eliminating it let's test the rubber section of the mask as well so it might be easier to do that with another mask than this one but let's put the Soex Geiger counter there and the Fiesta wear there it seems the rubber actually does a better job at blocking the beta radiation than the um visor does but again you're not totally eliminating your dose with this but it's certainly reducing it because obviously if you hear the rate that that's ticking and then we put that out like that yeah it's certainly better and as you can see it's working more than just the distance it was from the other side of the mask okay so that's interesting so we know that a mask gives you some protection from beta radiation we know for certain, obviously, the, if you have a particle filter on a mask, that gives you protection from alpha radiation, which is the one you really want to avoid inhaling. So that's a step in a you know, good direction. We know that you're cutting down your exposure risk, even if you're not eliminating it with certain masks. So what I want to see next is, let's say you had a riot helmet on. Would a riot helmet stop radiation from coming through? So let's find out. So we're going to test the polycarbonate visor. So this is going to be a bit awkward to hold, but what I'm going to do... Is put again the Geiger counter on one side of it like that and then put this here Oops. yeah this is very difficult to hold but I wonder if I put the visor up if that would be a bit easier to just do this test with so again let's put this here like this again it's ticking more than it would be usually but nowhere near as much as if the visor wasn't there because if you see that ticks like that move it down there like that okay so again the polycarbonate visor on a riot helmet gives you some shielding from beta radiation hitting your face good to know right now what might be worth checking is an NBC suit so let me get an NBC suit out and we'll check an NBC suit and we'll also check a plate carrier because I have a feeling the plate carrier might totally stop the radiation because if you think if you had a ceramic or metal plate in the front of a plate carrier plus a Kevlar layer plus the material I reckon that would stop it so actually tell you what let's quickly do the plate carrier so this is a British Army Mark IV Osprey plate carrier so let's put it there where the plate and the Kevlar is in the way And it sounds like that's ticking at background levels. Yeah, it was. Okay, so good. We know that a plate carrier then, with all the armour in it, would protect you from um, this sort of radiation. But let's just quickly, while I'm here, check um, this Soviet SS Leto sort of summer coat thing. I doubt this is going to give you much protection, but let's see. Yeah, there we go. Almost no different than a normal reading. So this definitely isn't thick enough to stop beta radiation. Right, now let's cut to an NBC suit. Right, so what I have here is an old Polish NBC suit from the Cold War. But it should be good enough because I doubt you're going to get much difference with NBC suits between models. Obviously the thicker they are, the more effective they'd be. 
but I doubt there's going to be much difference. I'll tell you what, we'll use the hood to test this because it will be the easiest bit for me to do it on. So let's get the Geiger counter and put that here in the hood so you can see I'm holding the NVC suit up by the hood with the Geiger counter in it there. Um, now let's put the Fiesta wear against it. That's a surprisingly high reading getting through the NVC suit actually. That really surprises me. I thought that would cut it down a lot, but it really doesn't. So, good to know. That is something that really surprises me, to be honest. I thought this would cut down quite a bit of the beta radiation, but it actually doesn't. So, what we've learned from this is an NBC suit doesn't do very much to protect you, for, uh, protect you from um, beta radiation. So, what I'm very tempted to try now is let's get a modern NBC suit and just see if a modern NBC suit is any better than the old rubber cold wall ones. Now, obviously, if you had clothes on under the NBC suit, that is going to cut a bit of the beta radiation because the more layers between you and the radiation, the better. However, now I'm very interested. I want to know will a thick coat stop um, this sort of radiation? So, what I've got here, you might be able to see in the corner of the frame, maybe. Um, oh, there it goes. Right, you'll definitely be able to see it now because I'll hold it up. Here is a Ukrainian winter suit, the one that's really, really good for cold weather use. So let's just do a similar test with this. So let's put the Geiger counter there. It's still ticking away, but I think it's actually exposing you to ever so slightly less radiation than the um, NBC suit. So yeah, I'd say of this it often comes down mostly to thickness rather than the material. But anyway, let me quickly go and get a modern Polish NBC suit, um, the Fu One suit, just to see if that's any better. So bear with me a moment. Okay, so now let's repeat that same test but with the Polish Fu One NBC suit. Um, so basically, this is just um, the modern Polish NBC suit. It's like a British Mark IV suit but just better in quality basically. So here's our Geiger counter. Let's put that inside the hood. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. And now we're going to put this on the outside. And that's ticking, but I think it's ticking at a slightly slower rate than with the rubber suit. So, this does surprise me that as much as they're called NBC suits, it seems the nuclear bit of it isn't all that effective. Now, it would certainly protect you from alpha radiation, no doubt about that, but a thin dust sheet would protect you from alpha radiation. Again, I'd rather have the NBC suit on in a nuclear scenario than not having it on, but that does surprise me that, you know, so much beta radiation manages to penetrate that. But that's very interesting, that was something I'm not expecting, so that's definitely something we've learned from the video. Now, you might as well test one more mask while we're at it. And let's see what a really cheap Polish MC1 mask would do against radiation. So let's put the Fiesta wear on the outside, the Geiger on the inside. And it seems the rubber's thick enough on the mask that it actually cuts the reading down by quite a significant margin. It's still obviously ticking away quite well, but not as much as you'd expect. Now let's put the Geiger inside near the eyepiece and test it there. Interesting, the glass nearly completely cuts the reading out by the look of it. Yeah, the glass totally blocks it. So that's interesting, this is something I never thought about. It seems the polycarbonate on some of the more modern masks isn't actually as good at cutting radiation out, out in glass. Wow, that is weird, I would have never thought of that, but again, very interesting sort of pseudo-scientific tests here. Yeah, no, okay, that's cool. Right, so... What have we learnt from this video, if we have learnt anything at all? It is that I guess that often thickness and distance is more important with a material for blocking beta radiation than others. But, you know, there are some quite surprising results here. Especially the one that really surprised me, that NBC suits aren't all that effective against beta radiation. I thought they'd be a lot more effective, but as said, if you had layers of clothing on underneath the NBC suit, it's certainly going to do more than wearing nothing. So in that sort of scenario, yes, it's better to have the suit on than not have it on. It's certainly going to protect you from alpha radiation. Uh, so gamma, you need like lead shielding to protect you against, or lots of concrete or steel or something like that. But yeah, this did surprise me, you know. Um, I'd like to say thank you for, I think it was Ziggy Jinx who sent me this Geiger counter for free and thank you to B-Store who sent me a load of stuff over the years as well as the um, Polish Fu One NBC suit that I showed in this video. Um, but yeah, this really has surprised me that 
some materials you think would do better against beta radiation aren't as good, but other things are. So, yeah, thank you everybody. That was very interesting. I actually really enjoyed doing this video.